What's up you guys? Today's gonna be a quick little video on a really simple mod. Um, I think there's a couple of videos already out there on YouTube um, about it. It's basically the cheap, uh, the poor guys clip-ons. So essentially what I'm gonna do is just move the stock clip-ons below the triple tree clamp. And it basically just gives you a little sportier feel. Not like as aggressive as like an R6 or like uh, ZX6R or something, because notice you still have quite a bit of a rise here, but it just gives it a little more sportier feel. They don't feel like um, getting Woodcrafts or Vortex clip-ons. I heard they're so much better though, but um, so I'm gonna show you quickly how to do that. I'm not gonna show you the how I unscrew the bolts and stuff, so but I'll just walk you through it. Uh, mostly you can need a 22 um, millimeter socket for the center one set of allen wrenches, allen keys, um, to take off this bolt, this one, and then the, the actual clamps holding holding them together, so it's these two. And that's about it. Those are the only tools you need. So I'm just going to go ahead and loosen them all up and then go ahead and let you know when that's done. Okay, so hopefully I got that previous part where I pulled this off. These two just slid off. Um, I'm not recording with the GoPro. As you can see, I'm doing it with the Senna. Because I just got home right now, and I was just like, eh, I'm just going to do the video right now. Shouldn't take more than 20 minutes. So, um, Didn't feel like getting my GoPro out. But it was acting all stupid, so hopefully... Oh, no, it came off. Okay. Um, hopefully I did get the previous part, but it's basically just sliding them off once the... the bolts are out. Slide out these two first, move them aside, slide out the clamp, set it aside, and now it's just as easy as sliding these right back on. So let's get this out of the way. Slide that down. I'm not going to tighten it up yet. Oh, you below. So this. Oh, it's out of the way. Careful not to pinch or break any cables. Okay. Put that down. And then put the clamp back on. How did I get got stuck in here because now it doesn't look like you'd have enough room. There we go. Okay, so slide that right back down until this goes all the way down. These I'm going to leave loose for now because I don't know where I want them yet. I think a hammer would be useful here. Do I have a hammer? No. All right, I'm just going to push this down, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so, yeah, it just took a little bit of just hammering it down so to, for it to go down. And this is apparently where you see that clearance issue. 
So, if we bring these all the way up, notice nothing here. I mean, angle it where you want it, but you're good on this side. And this side can actually go pretty high. But this one has a limit because of... I forgot what part of it. But if you bring it as high as you can, it rubs on the plastics there. So, one fix is to either raise this just a little bit more. Like, it's only a few millimeters to have that clearance. Or if you have the Motion Pro throttle kit, you actually replace this and the cables are actually on top. That solves that. Or angling it a bit further. But I'll probably just lift, I'll do that and just lift just a bit where it still engages the bolt. And then tighten it down. I mean, that's pretty much it. Here, let me stand this up. So, see, it still keeps it nice, comfortable position. You're not, like, super sport aggressive. But, gives it a much sportier look. I don't know where I want these, but... Well, that's pretty much it. And then just retighten these two clamps again. Put these back. These are really not used for anything, but I would just put them back just because it looks ugly with the holes there. But yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. I'll go riding with them and post that in another video. So, it might be cooler as a, uh, since it is a sportier setup. Next time I go to the track, I'll be able to t test out if I felt any difference, really, or canyons. And I'll let you guys know. It did handle really well, just as it is, or as it was, um, at the track. You know, post up some pictures right now. So, it's very capable. I put on the Q3s. Yeah, I'm running 120.70s and 160s in the back. Um, handled fine. Well, I say, since they are squished, I can't really get as far leaned over uh, to get just the very side edges of those Q3s. But, it's a great tire, so I wanted to put it on this guy. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about it, let me know.